encouraging? Yeah, you hear that? Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the most recent flight that I made in a jet aircraft powered by a turbine engine. If you have any ideas to why this quit while it was in the air, let me know in the comment section right there down below. And a big thank you to Racer686. He was my spotter for this flight, you know, calling out all the things that you'll see in this clip coming up, as well as capturing the footage. Let's get him up to a thousand subscribers. Head over to his channel and subscribe for me today. Now let's roll the footage. Yeah, you ready? Okay. How does she feel? Yeah, I feel really comfortable. Mine do too. Still trim? Still trim. I'm always listening to the tone of that whistle yeah. on mine. I'm like, I don't have to look at my sticks. Yeah. Surging? Yeah, you hear that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah why? Yeah, just relax. There's tons of, tons of momentum. No worries. Perfect. 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 Luckily for me, we got the airplane back on the ground safely and now comes the investigation to figure out exactly what caused the flame out on this turbine engine. So I did shortly after that flight fire up that engine yet again and the results were actually surprising and shocking and I think I have a possible two different situations happening within this system. So let's go through it. Upon the first start of the turbine engine, it got fired up, the starter motor was accelerating the engine, and then what happened is, is I spotted a bunch of electrical smoke coming out from the power pack. This is a unit that has some electronics in 
inside there, as well as the pump and solenoids that operate the turbine. So a little bit of electrical smoke came out of there. I don't know if this is related or not. It might not be. I'm still trying to figure out if that is actually related. And then the next thing that happened is we did get the, on the second attempt, the engine to fire up all the way up to idle again. And then we ran it from idle up to full power back and forth and everything seemed to be relatively okay. It did seem like there was extra bits of lag through the low to mid RPM range than has been typical for this engine. And another point is we did bring the engine to 100,000 RPM and let it sit there. And as we had it sitting at that 100,000 level, the RPMs were going from 98 to 100. They were kind of moving in that area. And at the same time, the pump power, you can see the pump power, it's almost like it was chasing that and it was doing this. So this was what was happening as it tried to maintain 100,000 RPM. Now what I do plan to do is go back out and get some footage as to what it's doing if I start it up on another day. I'm expecting to see the same results, but I do want to capture this and evaluate it a little bit further to see what is truly happening. I also want to collect information based off of the pump power at idle, pump power at full throttle as well. If you have any suggestion as to what I should be looking for, leave it in the comments section below. Certainly appreciate any help or insight that you guys may have. If you guys are interested in seeing any of these update videos, let me know and I can throw those in in addition to the typical videos that we do here weekly. As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that sub button so that I can see you guys in that next video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.